What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are rocking out with one of the coolest Gen 4 ghost types, Miss Magius. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes two seconds of your guys' time, and it really does go a long way with, with helping me grow as a content creator. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Miss Magius. It is a purely ghost type Pokemon, so it's only ghost type, and it's just super, super well on the special attacking side. It's got the Focus Sash as item, we're rocking Levitate as its ability, its EVs are boosted in special attack and speed, and then the moveset for this Pokemon is going to be Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, Power Gem, and Protect. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be the support Togekiss over here with Air Slash, Yawn, Follow Me, and Protect. It's rocking the Serene Grace as its ability, and then its item is going to be that I Pop a Berry. But this Togekiss is going to be super good pairing up with this Miss Magius because it's going to allow me to, you know, follow me shots, have Miss Magius set up Nasty Pot, and then just have Miss Magius just go off and start teeing off on Pokemon. While at the same time, this Togekiss is just yawning Pokemon, following me, or maybe getting some flinches with that Serene Grace Air Slash. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Breloom, and if you guys have been watching my BDSP videos, you guys know Breloom is an absolute beast in ranked double battles. It's got the Toxic Orb as its item, it's rocking the Poison Heal as its ability, and then the moveset is going to be Spore, Drain Punch, Seed Bomb, and Substitute. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Arcanine. If you guys have been watching my BDSPs, you guys know I love this Arcanine also. We got Flamethrower, we got Snarl, we got will o -Wisp, we got Protect. Obviously, Intimidate is going to be our ability, and then the item we are holding is going to be that lovely little Aguave Berry to give this Pokemon HP when it falls below. I think it's like one-fourth? Yeah, I think it's one-fourth. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our physical attacker. It's going to be Gyarados over here with the Life Orb. Another Intimidate Pokemon, and the moveset is fairly normal with Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up and Protect. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Raichu over here. Raichu is going to be super well at helping Pokemon set up, like Gyarados with Dragon Dance or even Miss Maggie's with Nasty Pot, because it has Fake Out. We can get first turn flinches. We also have Nuzzle for Speed Control and Paralyzes. Bolt Switch to Pivot Out and Brick Break to Break Screens. Ability for this Pokemon is going to be Lightning Rod, and then last but not least, the item it is holding is the Citrus Berry. But guys, there's the team preview. Let's hop into that Coliseum and get rocking out with Miss Maggie's. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's rocking a Jolteon team with Clefable, Milotic, Arcanine, and then he's got Guard, Chop, and Scissors. So two heavy physical attackers in the back end there. But how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I'm kind of leaning towards just leading Miss Magius and Tokus and kind of rocking out with that. It definitely could work good. Or I could lead it with the Raichu. The Raichu isn't too bad because I can fake out and then just uh, kind of roll off from there. It's not too bad either. Do I want to do that? Do I want to go Raichu Miss Magius? And then maybe just start, uh, ooh, I gotta watch out for that, uh, Jolteon. That is definitely an option. That's definitely an option. He could actually bring that, or he could lead it, but I feel like Raichu's just not too bad here. Dude, just due to the fact is, like, we can paralyze, we can kind of do a lot with that. But at the same time, Tokus is pretty strong here. But Scissor at the same time could just rip into Tokus. So, you know what? I'm gonna go Raichu. And then in the back end, I am going to bring Arcanine? I think we bring Gyarados and Arcanine. Gyarados and Arcanine, or Gyarados and... Who do I want to go here? So many options. So many great options for us. Breloom's not bad. Breloom is not bad. Breloom is not too shabby here. I'm kind of leaning towards Breloom here. I'm going to end up going Breloom. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But hopefully we get to showcase Miss Maggie to get all with him. But not going to lie, it's story time, ladies and gentlemen. Last night, your boy had a rough night. Went out, had a few too many drinks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it was rough. Let's, let's just end it on that. <laughs> let's just end it on that. Came home sleeping just i was done for the night i was done it was rough like i said few too many few too many shots few too many drinks from your boy james but hey still up i'm still recording i'm still producing a video for you guys but he's gonna end up intimidating me i think at this point we just pick out the clefable and we kind of just set up a nasty plot makes sense to me right makes sense to me i kind of dig that i kind of dig that so we're gonna fake him out bop do that and then what's gonna go on here I'm gonna go for a snarl that's totally fine a little bit kind of not really don't really like that. It's going to do a decent amount of damage to Miss Magius. But at the same time, we're just going to be able to nice spot set up here. So, Fable's going to be faked out here, which is pretty nice. And Miss Magius gets this roll. So, I could nuzzle the uh, Arcanine here, and I could take it out. If I want to. Unless Follow Me comes out, which would be a problem. Which could definitely be a problem. But what should I do? I could Volt Switch out. Volt Switch, or I can just start nuzzling. And just start setting up these Paralyzes. Double down into Arcanine here. With this Power Gem. I'm with it. I'm plus one on special attack board, so that's pretty solid. He's probably going to snarl me. He could actually go for a uh, a follow me, but you never know what he's going to do. 
You never know. But I really do want to get rid of this Arcanine. Because Arcanine's kind of a pain. It is such a pain to deal with. So if I can get rid of it, it could be a solid turn for us. And I wonder if this could do the job. It's a coverage move, but we are plus one on the attack board. I'm going to be able to nuzzle here. No follow me comes out, which is huge. This thing's going to be paralyzed. So Miss Maggie's going to now outspeed Arcanine, which is great. And hopefully we can just pick up the big fat KO here. Power Jump coming in hot. Go ahead, Miss Maggie. It's your plus one. Oh, let's go. Oh, this thing came to play. We came to play. We came to play. Loving it. I'm loving it. But we already know what's happening. Moonblast coming in hot. Cosmic Power. Never mind. Cosmic Power is coming in hot. And this thing is going through boost its defense stats. It kind of roll off from there, right? It's regular defense and special defense. That ain't too bad. I think I'm just going to nuzzle with Raichu. Pest around. And I might just go into a Shadow Ball. Just start rolling out with that. Garchomp's going to fly here. And yeah, I'm just going to nuzzle you. And then I think I'm just going to roll into a Shadow Ball. Roll into this Pokemon. Not too bad. We do have Levitate with, with Miss Magius, which is good too. That's solid. Follow me's gonna fly here. We're gonna nuzzle up on you. Hopefully, get some paralyzed turns out of this. And uh, Shadow Ball's gonna fly. Let's see how much damage Shadow Ball can do. This thing is bulking up. It's just no bueno. We do not like we do no, We do not like Cosmic Power. Rock Slide comes out here. Both my Pokemon eat. Hopefully, no Flinch comes out here. And my Citrus Berry coming in hot. So that's a great little Citrus Berry. It ain't a bad Citrus Berry. I kind of want to Volt Switch out with Raichu soon just so we can get a fake out turn later. Maggie drops Shadow Ball. Okay, cool. How much damage is it really going to do? Not too bad. Not too bad. And we get the drop. That's huge. That drop's huge. Special drop, that defense is going to drop. And then at this point, I'm just going to Bolt Switch into you. And then go into a Shadow Ball right into you. Right into Garchomp. I still want to get off some damage on the Garchomp. So Miss Maggie's is doing some work here. It is doing some work. If you guys haven't saw, right on my left side, I got my boy Magic. My left side, your guys' right side. My boy Magikarp is chilling out here, hanging out. I always love having him in uh, all my streams. And speaking of streams, if you guys want to catch extra content from me, we are back streaming three plus days every single week. Link down in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We're streaming some Splatoon right now. We're doing some all these other games too, up until the Splatoon 3 release, and then we're going to grind at that, and we have Pokemon Scarlet Pilot coming out soon. It's going to be awesome. So hopefully you guys do poke out for that. But I'm going to end up going into Gyarados just to intimidate and have this uh, this threat on the field with Ice Fang for that guard jump. But Shadow Ball should be able to do a nice chunk of damage here. Intimidate comes out here, dropping that physical attack of the Garchomp, which is lovely. And I'm kind of scared of a Rock Slide. I am kind of scared of a Rock Slide. Rock Slide is going to come in hot. Gyarados, you should be able to soak pretty well. Cool. Gyarados does indeed soak. He does indeed soak. Shadow Ball is going to fly out here. Follow me, could come out next turn. That ain't a bad, that ain't a bad shot. That's some good damage right there. That is some solid damage there. So at this point, I'm just going to go into an Ice Bag, and I'm just going to protect Miss Magius. Or I could, or I could hard swap in the right too. Just get fake out next turn. But I just think I protect this Pokemon. I just think I protect. It's a play all day. He's gonna withdraw him. Okay. Wow. Not a bad play. And who are you gonna go into? Milo. Milo. Milo comes out here, and we know the rest of his team. So we have Breloom to kind of handle that, which isn't too bad. Miss Magus is going to protect here, and I think that the uh, the Clefable is gonna try to take it out. But that's not a bad protect if uh, if that's what happens. Here. Let's see how this one plays. At this point, we have speed. Life do. Oh, you little biscuit. That's fine, because a, sh a Shadow Ball should be able to take out that Fable, right? Let's cut any close. I think a Shadow Ball should be able to do it. I might Dragon Dance here. I might D-Dance up. I am going to D-Dance up, and I am just going to rip into the Shadow Ball. Because, again, I have the Breloom in the back end to deal with the battle. This is a solid battle. This is a great first battle here. So I'm going to pop the Shadow Ball. I'm going to have fingers crossed that this KOs, right? This should KO. Miss Magus, let's go. Love this ghost Pokemon. I love this Pokemon. This thing is ripping. It's doing so good. It is doing so good. Dragon Dance is going to come out here. So we are going to take that plus one speed. We are going to take that plus one attack boost as well. It's just working wonders. And what is Milotic going to do? Probably take out Miss Magus. Right? Miss Magus? No. Leave him alone. Oh, no. He's going to quit. The Quill is going to come out here for a defensive boost. And that's kind of fine because it's no special defense boost. So I'm cool with that. So at this point, uh... I just Ice Fang in the Garchomp and then Shadow Ball into Milotic. Solid turn. Solid turn. If this thing's not rocking a Yachi Berry or a Focus Ash, it is dead. It is dead. And we outspeed him at this point. And then if he protects, that means we get a Shadow Ball off with our Miss Magus into the Milotic. But that's pretty much GG's. That's pretty much GG's, Joe. Yo, dude, this Pokemon, ripping. It is ripping. Ice Fang comes out. See you later, Garchomp. And dude, this Ghost type Pokemon doing so much damage. Like I said in the beginning, it is a great special attacker and it does lots of damage. Especially once you can set it up with a nasty bot. Shadow Ball flies out here. Send it. Bang. Big time damage. Love it. Love it. On that bulky Milotic. Blizzard's going to fly through here. 
There's a little kill on my Miss Magus, but at this point we have Raichu and we have Blue. Raichu and Blue. So I can go into I can go into either or. I pretty much have this match on lock. On lock. On lockdown. But I'll go into Breloom at this point. It's a little bit better. I could sport actually if I want to, but I just think we speed seed bomb. I could 100 percent sport. I could just sport down, but waterfall. And then nice little seed bomb. Run through. Run through it. And then we have to ride you in the back end. I'm surprised he hasn't canceled. Waterfall comes out here. How much damage is Waterfall gonna do? Not too bad. Not too bad. That's not too bad damage. We go down to 35 HP due to Life Orb, and then Seed Bomb should be able to clean this mess up, right? See you later, Milotic. Let's go. Let's go. Match number one goes to us, and we get thriving with Miss Magnus. Second battle coming at you guys, and we decided to rematch our opponent. Hopefully, he uses Jolteon in this battle because I would love to see that Pokemon. But how should I go into this one, and how should I play it? I definitely should play it a bit differently, but I kind of want to lead Miss Magius. It's just so good. It's just so good all around. So I'm going to end up leading it again and maybe leading a Gyarados on top of that. Because Gyarados could just be good. Or I can lead a Pokemon like Brulee and just start putting Pokemon to sleep. Kind of with that at the same time. I am kind of digging that. Let's do it. Let's lead Breloom, let's lead Miss Magius, and then I'm going to bring Garchomp, or not Garchomp, Gyarados for the Garchomp. And then last but not least, I think Arcanine can come in the back end. I just like Arcanine. Really, really good Pokemon. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down, and let's grab ourselves a win here. Battle number two. Actually, I should say, let's look to go back to back here in battle number two. But yeah, I think he is going to lead the uh, Arcanine again, right? No, he does not. Kind of works better for me at this point. This kind of works better for me. So he could coil. I am going to Nasty Plot, and I think he might just withdraw the Milotic, right? So I'm just going to Nasty Plot, and I might sub up. Do I sub up, or do I Spore? I'm going to Spore you. I'm going to Spore. Hopefully, this thing... Yeah, he does withdraw the Milotic. That's huge. Hopefully, this thing is going does not have Magic Bounce. Right? Doesn't, can't Clefable learn Magic Bounce? That could be such a good move. That could be such a good move. He is going to Intimidate me, but I think we should be thriving here. I think we should be thriving. I am going to put you to sleep. Nasty Plot's going to come out here. Yes, sir. Miss Magius is going to get set up yet again, dude. I love it. I love it. I love it. Spore's going to poke out here. And now we have a nice little advantage here. So what I could do here is actually keep Reloom in here. But I don't know if Reloom is going to be able to outspeed. That's the real question. And you know what? I am going to check the speed stats on my Arcanine compared to my Breloom. Because I think my Arcanine's rather fast. My Arcanine is rather fast. So let me check the speed stats before I even make a call here. But uh, Breloom's speed is at where you at? 134. And you are maxed out on it. And Arcanine's is at 144. Yeah, Arcanine out speeds like crazy. Like crazy. So at this point, I think we just have to hard swap the Breloom. And we could just power gem. What's Miss Maggie's speed? Let me see your speed real quick. Come here. Let me see your speed. I don't think you outspeed the Arcanine, right? You didn't you couldn't do it in the last battle. No, you're not gonna be able to outspeed. Um, I still do want to just go into a power gem. And I do want to hard swap into a Pokemon like Gyarados. Better. Right, Gyarados? Or do I go into Pokemon like Arcanine? I think I'm going to go to Arcanine at this point. I think Arcanine is going to be type nice. I do like Arcanine here. Because I can start snarling onto that, uh, that Clefable. If I wanted to. So Arcanine is going to get the hard swap. Intimidate him to come out here. And I wonder what he's going to do. I do wonder what he's going to do. I am curious. I would have loved to keep keeping that Breloom. Would have been nice. And he's just going to go straight for a Flare Blitz. And then Miss Magius. Oh, and the Arcanine. So, beautiful swap by us. We're able to soak up. He's going to take some recoil damage. And more importantly, we're going to take this thing out with Power Gem. So, a lovely little Power Gem is going to come flying out here. It's going to be type nice. Power Gem coming in hot. Bip, bip, bip. Later. Later. Get it on out of here. Hopefully, this Fable is asleep for at least one more turn. So, we can get our value out of sleep. That could be good. And yeah, it is slow. So, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful start for us. Nice little sleep with the Breed Loop. Nasty Plot set up. And we still have our Focus Ash, which is huge. Loving this Pokemon. I'm loving this Pokemon. Man, Milo Milo is going to come out here, and I think we could just hard swap into a different Pokemon, but I think we just, I might just Nasty Pot on top of this. I'm going to Nasty Pot, and I'm just going to Snarl. I'm going to double Nasty Pot. I'm going to get this Pokemon ready to set up. I just think it's to play all day. I think it's just a play. We do have speed, so I'm going to, I'm just Nasty Potting again. I, I want my special attack boosted. I want it boosted. Arcanine should go next. And Snarl's gonna put That's slow. The special attack drops on two special attackers, which is huge. And Miss Maggie is, is starting to set up. So maybe the Fable's asleep another turn. That could be nice. And I think the Milotic is going. Ooh. 
bad, bad play. Bad, real bad play by us. They're coiling. It's going to scold. That's real bad play. Though. That's bye-bye, Arcanine. -bye, real bad play for us. It's a real bad play for us. I totally forgot about competitive as an ability. This thing is so sleek. I'm plus four. Plus four, baby. I'm plus four. Um, At this point, we just have to get it from Milo. Milo, right? I set up sub with Breloom. I'm gonna go back into Breloom and I am gonna set up sub with Breloom. Because I do want a Shadow Ball into the Milotic. And Milotic might just protect. I think we just sub up at this point. Follow me is probably gonna come out from the uh from the fable. And if it does, it does. It's totally fine. Because he definitely sees my Miss Magius as a threat, so I think he's gonna target that down. And we still have a focus ash. We haven't revealed yet. We didn't even reveal it in the first battle, so he doesn't even know we have a so he's gonna wake up, follow me coming out here? Yes. So this is exactly what we thought. Exactly what we thought. Miss Magius is gonna go next, probably. And we're gonna drop a big time Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball's gonna come flying in here. In here. It's plus four. And that's just KO. Oh my god, we're ripping. <laughs> we are ripping. <laughs> this thing's gonna dump on Pokemon left and right. Milotic's probably going for a Scold. I think he's gonna try to take out Miss Magius, but now we have a substitute breathing. Heal out. I think this match is wrap. I think we are wrapping this one up. He's gonna Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump right into Miss Magius, and here comes my favorite thing ever, the Focus Hash. <laughs> and he gets a crit too, yo. What is up with these crits? What is up with your crits? Focus Hash comes out here, and my Breloom is just, it's set up. It is set up, so I can just spore left and right. If I want to, I could just protect. But I think at this point, uh, what do we do? I might protect and put the guard top to sleep. That would probably be my best bet. No, let's do that. Let's protect and put the guard top to sleep. That. Let's protect, put Garchomp to sleep, and roll out from there. Because Garchomp is going to be the fastest Pokemon on the field. So if I can just put that to sleep, that could just be nice. Box Side's going to come out here. And can our... Oh, Breloom just dodged that. I was going to say, can our substitute eat that up? And that, that works even better. We dodged that Rock Slide, and we put... So, Breloom goes back behind the sub. And if I had to guess, Milotic has to be going in. All right. Oh, don't tell me you have a Lumberry. Son of a biscuit. That just ruined everything. You just ruined everything. You just ruined everything. Okay. Okay, I'm still gonna go try to put the guard to sleep. He's going to sleep next turn. I'm not dealing with it. Shadow Ball is gonna fly over here on the Milotic, and I'm just gonna go for a, a spoon. I gotta go first. It's gotta be my play. It's gotta be my play. Rock Slide flies through here. This Maggie's is dead, but dang yo, Lumberry definitely clutching up for him. The big time lumber. If he didn't have that lumber, we would have just shadow balled out and pretty much won that match. But we're looking still really good here. Spore's gonna come out here again. Yes, I'm one of those guys. I double sport. Get over it. <laughs> Get over it. It's always annoying when it happens to you, but when you're doing it, you're always having fun with it. <laughs> it's one of those moves. He's gonna end up going for a blizzard. It is gonna connect, and that is gonna take off my substitute. That is going to take off my lovely little substitute. So at this point, I have art. I've, I've Gyarados left. And I think Gyarados can legit just Ice Fang that uh, Garchomp. But I think what we do here is just, uh, yeah, Ice Fang the Garchomp to take him out. And then, oh, I could Dragon Dance. I'm thinking of Dragon Dance. And of course, oh my god, this thing's probably going to solo. This thing might solo us. You know what? I got to put this to sleep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do that. I am going to have to do this. Sorry, Milotic. You have to go to sleep or you're going to beat me. You have to go to sleep or you are going to be. So Ice Fang's gonna poke here. We're gonna put this Milo Milo to sleep. And we're gonna take out Garchomp with that Ice Fang. So that's a big time Ice Fang. Love it. Yeah, if we don't put Milotic to sleep, we lose. We're definitely gonna lose because Blizzard can come out here. It's plus four. No, it's plus three. It's plus three. So it's just gonna rip into me. So we're gonna sport here. We're not allowing it to do much. I'm just gonna start seed bombing. Waterfall, seed bomb, waterfall. Keep doing that. Or I can seed bomb and dragon eggs. But I just think uh, Seed Bomb and Waterfall is probably the play, right? Yeah. Because we get a flinch chance with Waterfall and Seed Bomb could do a good amount of damage. I could sub up again if I wanted to. But let's get off some damage here. Let's see how much damage the Seed Bomb does first. We shall see. But hopefully Milotic can just be asleep on return and just solidify the match for us. Seed Bomb pokes through here and that rips. Yeah. If this thing's asleep, it's GG's. It woke up. Are you kidding me? Miss a Blizzard. Miss a Blizzard, please. Dude, this blizzard's connecting like crazy. Gyarados, can you eat? 
I think we lost. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think we lost. I'm super surprised that that uh that blizzard is connecting like that much. So we have two things that we can do. We might be able to eat up a skull. I don't think we can actually. I really do not think we can. But we need to get a flinch here. A flinch could be big for us. A waterfall flinch. How often does that happen? But yo, we we lost this battle to ourselves. Ah, no, we're out here. Can we get a flinch? Give me the flinch. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yo, you owe it to me. Give me the flinch. We do not get the flinch. And Blizzard, dude, Blizzard's connecting like crazy. That's gonna be GG's. That's surprising that Blizzard's landing like that. It's 70% action. He's hitting it left and right. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we're sitting at one and one. That last battle was definitely on us. We trigger competitive when we shouldn't have with that snarl, but it's all good. It is all good. We're hopping into this third one, and let's grab ourselves that winning record. We're going up against a really cool team. Electifier, Magmortar, Garchomp, and then he also has, what is that? Blissey, Alakazam, and Shuckle. I definitely want to bring Lightning Rod for my Raichu. I just think it works wonders. I can also bring a good Pokemon like Gyarados. Gyarados does work on a lot of different Pokemon here. And then I definitely want Breloom. Breloom does work onto that Blissey, and Blissey is super bulky. So we're gonna, we're gonna need something to take that out. So I think I'm gonna lead Raichu. I think I'm gonna lead Gyarados on top of that, or I can lead Raichu Miss Magius. Just to showcase this Pokemon again, because it honestly does work up against a few of these guys. It does work up against a few of these guys. I could go Gyarados here. And maybe just try to set up a D-Dance. I'm kinda digging that, and then have Breloom in the back end. And then last but not least, Kiss, or I'd rather show off Miss Magius. So, you know, let's go Miss Magius. You guys seen plenty of Togekiss in the past, so we're, we're locking in the new the new Ghost Pokemon. Let's get it. And we got this dreary music. I'm feeling good. Garchomp and Shuckle is going to fly out here. It's not too bad. That's not too bad for us. I don't mind it. And Raichu and Garrett is. So I get off Intimidate. I think I just fake out the... What do I do? Fake out the Garchomp, set up a D-Dance? Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. Shuckle's attack raise. Isn't controversy or contrary? Is that its a, a, a ability? I think so. But I'm gonna fake out. I'm gonna set up a lovely little dragon dance. I'm gonna set up a nice little D dance. But yo, shiny shuckle's sick. Yo, it just has a blue shell, which I love. Fake out comes out here. And oh wait, are levels here? Are we? Wait, wait. Why are we level 100? I did not read the rules. I know it's 4v4, but hopefully all my Pokemon are level 100. Gyarados, are you level 100? Are you level 100? Please be level. 100. I'd be upset if you're like level 50 something. I know I have a few Pokemon that are under level. Shell Smash can come out here. And yeah, that's scary. That's a scary little shuffle. That is indeed a scary little shuffle. Okay, so Shuckle's defense is gonna drop. Wait a minute, it's it's contrary, so. It's defense is up? Correct? I think it's defense is up. At this point, I'm just gonna nuzzle and I'm gonna get rid of the guard chomp. I'm gonna get rid of the guard chomp. Yeah, it's contrary, right? So it's attacks down, but it's defense is up. Which is really, really cool. Which is really, really cool. But we end up taking out the Garchomp. That's huge. And I think I have, like, one Pokemon. It might be my Arcanine. I don't think I brought the Arcanine, though. That is under level 100. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Nelson's gonna fly out here. Yes, sir. And we're gonna paralyze this Shuckle. So the Shuckle gets paralyzed. And I wonder what he's doing here. Just Shell Smash again. We need some crits. We need crits ASAP. We need crits ASAP. We need crits ASAP. Its defense is through the roof. Its defense is through the roof. How am I going to kill this thing? I don't know how I'm going to kill this thing. I'm terrified of this thing. I am terrified. I might just start targeting down the right side and just deal with the shuckle later, but like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Electivire is going to get flying out here. It has a bunch of different coverage moves, but I know it can't use electric, which is huge. And I might just Volt Switch Pivot. Or I can stay out on the field here. I think I'm going to stay out on the field, just in case he doesn't know. Now we can Volt Switch Pivot. Oh, uh, let's just go into Electivire. Let's take out this Pokemon. Like I said, I think we just need to target down the right side, deal with the Shuckle later. The Shuckle's scary, dude. I think Shuckle's probably Shell Smashing. The Waterfall is going to come out here. And that's gonna do ridiculous amount of damage. We'll see you later. We'll see you later, dude. Gyarados is out here. Came to play. We love it. We love it. We love it. Love it. We love it. Right, she's gonna brick break. And that's gonna do nothing. He's soaking. And she's gonna shell smash again. This thing's fully boosted on defense. Special and physical. Oh my god. I, I just gotta hope we get a crit. I gotta hope we crit that dang shuckle, man. Its attack is in the dumps, but it's contrary. So and anything that drops its stats actually boosts its stats now. That's why when we when we went to intimidate, 
it boosted his. Dude, this this dang shuckle, man. <laughs> this shuckle is nasty. I love seeing stuff like this. I love seeing stuff like this. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon, and it's gonna be Blissey. And at this point, um, I am just gonna nuzzle Blissey. And then I am just going to go into Waterfall just to see how much damage we can do over into the shuckle. I really just want, I'm, I'm curious. I'm more so curious. How much damage are we gonna do with this thing? Okay, actually a lot more than I thought we would. That is huge. Okay, Gyarados, we're just gonna keep tanking with you. Chuckle. That's my plan. Nuzzle's gonna come out here, send it, and that's a decent amount of damage. Considering it is 19 levels. Paralyzed comes out here. And sometimes, can you guys not move? This thing minimizes. Oh my God, we gotta deal with this stuff. We gotta deal with this stuff? We gotta deal with this. Chuckle, what are you doing? Chuckle, be paralyzed, cool. Chuckles paralyzed. I am gonna bolt switch with Raichu. I am indeed gonna bolt switch with Raichu. It's just my play. It's got to be my play. Let's bolt switch, and I think we just. I could take out Blissey right now. I'm gonna get rid of Blissey. I'll deal with Chuckle in a little bit. God dang it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! I don't like this! I don't like this! Take me home! I wanna go home! I wanna go home! I wanna go home! Take me home! Take me home. Oh no. Chuckle's gonna rest. Can you rest? Oh, and this take off the paralyze? That is amazing. That is amazing. I'm double down this pussy. We have to hit this pussy kill. While that shuckle's asleep. Same thing. Actually, let's bolt switch in the shuckle. That would be a better play. Bolt switch in the shuckle. Because if this waterfall lands, pussy's dead. And bolt switch is really gonna do too much to it. So go ahead, waterfall. Please help me. Please, someone help me. I want to go home. I want to go home. Please take me home. Take me home. This thing's gonna minimize again. Uh, we keep going to Miss Magnus. We're brutal. You have nice little power gem shots. Okay. What do I want to do here? We're going to you. I guess. I guess. I guess. I think we're gonna sub. If he wants to play dirty, we'll play dirty. We're gonna sub up with Greenland and we're just gonna keep going. Let's see. Because we just need one to land. We just need one waterfall. But yeah, look at Blissey's face. It looks all innocent. <laughs> it looks all innocent. I love that book one. I love it. The Shuckle's back up to full HP. Like I said, if he wants to play dirty, we'll play dirty. I'm going into this and I'm I'm trying to land these waterfalls, man. I'm trying to land him. Land it, Gyarados. Third time's a charm, man. Third time's a charm. Come on, yo. Carp luck. Carp luck. Carp luck. Yo, carp. We need better luck from you, dude. We need better luck from you, dude. We need better luck, dude. Come on. Jesus, magic carp. Don't worry. He said he, he said he's going to go find some luck in a second. Once he's paralyzed, that's a solid turn. Chuckles should still be asleep. That's a free little sub. All right. Let's go. Let's go, magic carp. We need some carp luck. And I think I need carp to actually hit the A button on water. I'm gonna put him close to my shoulder here, and Carp is gonna hit a waterfall. That's gonna be his play. Get it, buddy. A battle. Oh no, we gotta use uh uh. I think I'm just gonna drain punch. So all I need is this waterfall land, and then we need waterfall over on Bliss. You gotta Carp hit it. Come on, Carp luck, Carp luck, Carp luck, Carp luck, baby. The Carp luck comes in clutch, dude. I told you, I told you. Just give him a chance. Just give my boy a chance. Just give him a chance. He's MVPing right now. He's MVPing. Now he's just gonna hang out on my shoulder for the rest. Giving us that victory. We love it. We love a good old magic card. We love a good old magic card. The card luck. I told you guys. Love it. Love it. Love it. Shuckle wakes up. What's he gonna do? Can he do it? Your, your defense is already boosted. Maximum. But I don't know what he's here to do. Like, he hasn't hit me yet. I wonder what moves he has. I wonder what moves he has. I do wonder what moves he has. Shell Smash, Rest. That's the only two we saw. That's legit the only two we saw. But it's all good. I think we should be fine here. I could put him to sleep if I want to, but I I'm getting some damage off here. Actually, let's put him to sleep. Let's just do this. He wants to play dirty. I'm going to put him to sleep, and I'm just going to... Uh, no, I do not want a waterfall. I want to D-dance. I'll put him to sleep, and we'll D-dance the rest of the match. Yo, do you want to play games? I'll boost my attack all day. This guy wants to play stat boost. 
Thank you. This magic card's getting rather annoying to hold, but he's here. We have to keep him up here. He's MVP right now. He's MVP. Sports gonna come out here. He wants to play dirty. We'll play dirty all day. I'll play dirty all day. I don't play games. I don't play games around here. Especially not in the Coliseum. I own the Coliseum. It's my Coliseum. And I ain't gonna let no little Shell Smash Shuckle beat me. Shell Smash Shuckle. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. I love it. But uh, yeah, he's just gonna do that. And what else can I do? I think I just, now I just drain punch into him and I D-dance again. Play games with me. Cancel the battle, dude. You're not winning. I will not allow it. I will not allow it. We are now plus three. I think we Dragon Dance before. I think this is our third Dragon Dance. Yeah, because we Dragon Dance for that Garchomp. We did do that. It was a lovely play in the beginning. Drain Punch comes out here. And look how little damage it does. Look how little damage it does. Chuckle wakes up. What's he going for? This is what this is what this thing came to do. This is what he came to do. We have to start hitting it. We can't deal with Toxic. This is what this thing came to do. All right, let's put to sleep. You, sir, will go to sleep. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not gonna lie, the shuckle is very intimidating. You can do a lot of work on me. But yeah, we're just gonna sport. I'll play dirty all day, and then we go into waterfalls now because I can't, I can't just let this toxic start taking away on me. We go for a waterfall. How much damage are we gonna do? It's a lot of damage. It's big time damage. And shuckle, do me a favor. Now that you're awake, can you go back to sleep? Here's another sport. How you doing? <laughs> So toxic. It's so toxic. He wants he started the toxicity. He started the toxicness. He was like, yo, let me shell smash, blah blah blah. Throw a toxic on you. I was like, you wanna play dirty? I'll play dirty all day. I'll play dirty all day. Toxic can do how much damage to me? 60 or not 66. Did a decent amount. The next one might kill me. I think it is going to kill me. And the reason I say that is because of uh is because I'm going to take life orb damage on top of that. The waterfall comes out here alongside with a seed bomb. Can waterfall just finish this off? It does. Oh no, he lives on one. He lives He lives on legit one. Legit one. So Breedlim's going to come out here with a seed bomb and say GG's. Let's go. Get him on out of here. He wants to start it. We finished it. There it is, guys. Nice, lovely winning record for today's. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Magius might be my new favorite Pokemon to use in BDSP. I absolutely love this Pokemon, and once you set up a Nasty Pot with it, it is just phenomenal. You got Power Gem for coverage, then you got that heavy hitting stab damage with Shadow Ball. It's just too strong. This Pokemon is just too strong. But nice, lovely winning record today. Third and final battle, we got some Magikarp luck over here, and we grabbed ourselves that winning record, which is really, really good for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.